Tesla is hacked with drone. Watch in this video how a drone attack can hack a Tesla. But the good news is that the company is already informed and he fixed and closed the loophole. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please uh, get, subscribe to our channel, join our community and give us thumbs up and like this video. And if you would like, please send us an upload. That will be greatly appreciated. So security gaps mood is possible to attack a tesla's control system via wlan which is basically a wi-fi and for example to open doors hacking it with drone tesla has been already informed like i said and has closed the loophole that's the good news so how this happened a drone flies uh, you can see in this video that a drone flies over a tesla model x and the doors open automatically after a little less than a minute that's kind of scary right imagine a drone uh, flying over your car and you are not there and all of a sudden your car is already at the disposition of those who attacked your vehicle so the door uh, door is open as you can see in the vi video the security researchers Ralph Philip Weinerman and Benedict Schmutzler from Gomskuris present how they penetrate the vehicle's control system with a security hole called T-Bone Conman I will have their full presentation video link in the description of this video where you can hear uh, how they do this but the tesla vehicles use a you know friends if tesla vehicles use a wi-fi network with a wi-fi key preset in the firmware um, hacking a tesla with wlan vlan i guess had already been documented by security researchers a few years ago and we at torque news warned about it in 2013 writing how tesla model as remote access may let hackers mess with the car and in fact i will have the link of that article from 2013 by tesla torque news tesla reporter david heron in the description of this video before i go any further explaining how things happened and what they used and how what tesla did i'm going to uh, give you one paragraph description of the uh, what is wi-fi versus wlan wlr vlan i guess huh both wi-fi which is wireless fidelity and and WLAN, Wireless Local Area Network, mean the same thing. They both refer to a wireless network that can transfer data at high speeds. The software also shows the connected computers and devices that are ac accessing internet through your Wi-Fi hotspot, through your wireless fidelity hotspot. So what they did, an embedded Linux system runs on the vehicles. A software called Conman is used for the network configuration on the vehicle. Weinerman and Schmotzel from Germany searched Conman with the American Fuzzy Lope AFL fuzzing software for security gaps in the processing of DNS requests and quickly found what they were looking for. Did you understand this? Let me repeat this one more, one more time. So an embedded Linux system runs on vehicles, a soft, like in Tesla vehicles. A software called Conman is used for the node network configuration on the vehicles. Weinermann and Schmotzel from Germany searched Conman with the American Fuzzy Lob fuzzing software for security gaps in the processing of DNS requests and quickly found what they were looking for. They, uh, their Tesla drone uh, exploit their Tesla, their, their exploiting of Tesla through a drone uh, uses a combination of stack buffer overflow when processing DNS requests. CVE 2021-26675 for those who understand. And a loophole in the DHCP stack that allows parts of the memory to be read. This makes it possible to execute malicious code on the vehicles so i tried to explain this this is very complicated and technical but i tried to explain how they this happened and how they were able to hack a tesla vehicle through drone and in a moment i'm going to tell you what they did with tesla and what did tesla do so controlling the vehicle yourself is not possible during an attack through drone. When this kind of attack happens to you, to your vehicle, you cannot control your vehicle. A separate embedded system is already used 
for controlling your Tesla vehicle. And this can probably be done by other electric vehicles as well, or any vehicles that are using similar software or has loopholes in the software. The attack could be expanded into a malware worm. It would be possible to use a local root exploit to gain complete control of the embedded Linux and then connect to other vulnerable Tesla vehicles via Wi-Fi or WLAN and control them as well. The security holes in Conman software have now been closed in version 1.39. That's the good news. According to the discoverers, other automakers also use Conman, and the manufacturers have been informed about the CERT bond since January. The good news here is that Tesla closed the relevant loophole in October 2020. So this thing has happened already before. Tesla was notified about this, and Tesla closed the relevant loophole in October 2020. We're just learning about this today. Forbes is also reporting on this news. And, uh, but this is a good wake up call for everyone to make sure that the uh, cars that are now computers on wheels have secure software that nobody can even enter there because this has to do with people's lives. Now, Tesla drone exploit was also de developed in a, an emulator. Uh, the discover discoverers did not need a real Tesla to analyze the vulnerabilities and develop the exploit. They used a software called Koneramu, in which such embedded system can be already emulated. A technical background paper, um, uh, which the link of which I will have in the description of this video, describes the details of the vulnerabilities and the exploit. The results were also presented in a lecture at the Consquest IT Security Conference, which was held as an online conference due to this virus. Speaking of software, we also reported yesterday that Tesla's new uh, full self-driving software update is going to be, uh, how amazing it is going to be. And if I have more time, friends, I will tell you a little bit about that. So um, uh, Tesla hadn't responded. Uh, Forbes tried actually to contact Tesla about this vulnerability and what they did in October 2020, closing the loophole of this uh, drone security hack. Tesla, has, uh, the Forbes says Tesla hadn't responded to a request for comment at the time of publication. I didn't uh, contact Tesla because they don't have a, a security uh, they don't have a, uh, a PR department, as you know, and so who do you contact? Uh, the best you can do is to uh, tweet to Elon Musk on Twitter, and he has, I think, 50 plus million followers and hardly will see your tweet. Their attack targeted a component called, like I said, Conman, accessible over Wi-Fi and used to manage network connections. Two flaws in Conman allowed Weinman and Schmoltz, these two people, um, that could they could run commands on the infotainment system on the Tesla. So they did not they not only opened the door of the tesla but they also uh, con con uh, conducted commands on the infotainment system on the tesla so this is basically taking a lot of control over your vehicle they couldn't uh, they could have done worse by writing code to the tesla's infotainment technology they said weinman warned the attack could have been warmable and weaponized by adding on an exploit that let them create entirely new Wi-Fi firmware in the Tesla, quote, turning it into an access point which could be used to exploit other Tesla cars that come into the victim car's pr proximity. The researchers chose not to create a warmable hack, however. Um, so this, you, you can see that this could have been very dangerous thing. The vulnerable conman component is also used by other cars like i said earlier according to weinerman i think it's like half of the industry weinerman told forbes he described a long and frustrating process of disclosing the issue weinman and schmutzel first went to intel which was the original creator of conman but then had to go to the german computer emergency response team who organized fixes for the conman issue however it's unclear if uh, all car manufacturers have updated their cars to include the patched code. Uh, since it's not clear and you have conmen in your car, uh, please contact your manufacturer and ask if it the code has been updated. And you may want to send this report to a friend 
who may also have it and does not know it. So Forbes also says it's not the first time Tesla has been targeted of cybersecurity researchers hacks in 2020 security experts at McGaffey showed off exploits that managed to make Tesla's autonomous driving future take the car up to 85 miles per hour in a 35 miles per hour zone. The same year academics at KU Leuven University computer security and industrial cryptography hacked and stole a Tesla in two minutes by targeting issues in Bluetooth using $200 worth of equipment. Um, Thomas Brestwer from Forbes says Tesla rewards hackers for their work on exposing problems so they can be patched with the bounty program. According to Vienman, the pair received $31,500 from Elon Musk's electric car giant for their fundings. This is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. Friends, let me know what you think about these types of things and the vulnerabilities. And uh, I'm really glad that uh, Tesla has fixed these things. Uh, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, give us thumbs up and like this video. Share in social media, please. And if you would like to help us, send us an applaud here. Have a great day. God bless you and see you soon in our next report.